hello and good morning <laughs> it is currently 5 20 in the morning um, and I just pulled an all-nighter again I'm not doing good but I'm gonna try to talk with you as best as I can because um I, that's what I do <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Today's another travel vlog. I know you guys are probably like, Emma, stop with the travel vlogs. We're done. But um, April's a busy month, so buckle your seatbelt and come along for the ride if you want. Today we're going to Palm Springs, Palm Desert, Coachella Valley for Coachella Music Festival. I'm so fucking excited. I'm definitely tired though. I just pulled an all-nighter and you're probably like, Emma, why did you pull an all-nighter? Here's my answer. I was editing a video and I thought that I'd be done by around 1 a.m. And then next thing you know, it's 5 a.m. and I'm still not done. What time am I supposed to wake up? 5 a.m. to leave for the airport. Does that make sense? Thank you. And yeah, because I just love you guys so much. <laughs> it's time to drink a juice because good morning. Oh shit. I like this. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going with the app Dote, so thank you Dote for sending me on this trip. I'm so fucking grateful. <sighs> it's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long... Like there's... Let's just start all tra... Well, there it is. You guys are really eating the best version of me right now. <laughs> I'm a fucking mess. <laughs> just with her like a week ago. Yes, but like, I missed her so much. Everybody else was in Terminal 3, I was in Terminal 7. Um, we were like looking for each other, couldn't find each other, it was a big fat mess. I'll see you when we get to the Airbnb, I'm sick of this. I'm not gonna like vlog the car ride, I do enough car vlogs, like we need to switch it up. I can't even believe this is real. I'm gonna strip down freaking butt ass naked. Oh my God. I don't know what's going on. Welcome to my crib. Ah! We gotta be field. What are you gonna do in that field, Emma? Yes. Uh, yes. It's my house. This would definitely be a lot cooler if you could actually see the tennis court. Fountain! Front door! Garage! <laughs> Some floaties. But what do you need if you have floaties? A pool. An air Suck blower. That. Fatties. We have kitchen. What happens if you poop your panties? You wash it. Dining room table. For when we have to have... I don't know why you film everything but me. Of it's course. a snowman. <laughs> On there. Here's our room. It's a room. The room where I'm gonna get kinky. <laughs> That's my mom. Um, this is where I'm gonna be taking my poops. <laughs> Let's go. This is where I'm gonna be doing my work. Homework? No, my work. I don't go to school. <clears throat> Drop out. Yes. Hello. Suck my left toe. <laughs> All the time I turn around, brothers gather around. Always looking at me up and down, looking at my. Hi, ladies. We're at dinner. We got these free flipping blankets. How cute is it? I'm naming her Sandy. Can't get enough. Got some water. Let's take a little taste test. I can't get enough of her. Also, I'm starting to wear earrings now because I think I want to try to be a girl. I don't know. We're gonna see what we can do with that. I'm so excited for food. Let's kind of see what's on the menu. A bunch of like really uh, like classy stuff. I'm not very classy, so we'll see how that goes. But there's like roasted beets. I'm scared of beets. I don't know. I can't read menus. Like I'm not smart enough for that. Good night. So yeah, we're at dinner. Oh, it's <laughs> why I can't have Ellie like film anything. Why don't you put it on me? Sleepover time. Okay. I'm really tired now, and, and I want to just, and I want to just poo poo in bed. You know when you want to go to bed, and it's 3 p.m. and your dad says go to bed. Dude, that, that was hella that sick. Was I want it. I hope she does that again, like a lot tomorrow <laughs> and like the next fun. day. <laughs> you have to do the Amazon thing. Okay, sorry. No, it actually works. It like makes me serious because my owl kind of hurt. Okay, so <laughs> guys, it's really serious. Shut the fuck up. Guys, like I know lately. I just haven't been like real with you guys lately because I've just been like not telling you how I feel and I'm just not proud of it. And here's what it is. Here's how I feel. It's that I'm bored as she. Bored as she. 
Okay, so basically here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little challenge in my video. I know we don't do those a lot, but I thought it could be really fun if we did it. So basically, everybody's gonna come into the bathroom and tell a secret to the camera, and then um, I'm gonna see it later when I edit it, and um, it's gonna be a great time, so. Okay, so my secret is kind of embarrassing. And my secret is I, um, I used your toothbrush tonight and I'm not even sorry about it. I forgot my toothbrush. I was telling my secret. I said that I used her toothbrush. Did you actually use I it? I used her toothbrush. <laughs> Hopefully this is her toothbrush. That's my, my <laughs> toothbrush. This is your toothbrush? Did you use that? Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, well, this just got awkward. <laughs> New secret. I was in love with the fact that you <laughs> thought that the toothbrush was her That could have been anyone's toothbrush here, so You actually used it? I ain't sorry about it <laughs> A secret about Emma She actually followed me and watched my videos before I ever knew about her I She's in Emma's literally the funniest and she's so freaking pretty This isn't even like a secret, but like it's just a fact And I feel like no one really appreciates how pretty she actually is Did you hear that? Did you hear her really mine was I was trying to use her toothbrush. <laughs> okay, tell your secret. Um, when I was five years old, I shaved off my eyebrows, and I have to film it every day. One time. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> wow! She crazy. You have to be in. <laughs> Me too! Where? Right here. Mine is like right <gasps> in. <laughs> Made a little iced coffee here. We're really killing it out here. Emma today is eating some dry toast. Just toast that's dry. I fell down the stairs yesterday and I have a bruise on my butt and I literally have to lift one cheek while I'm on the toilet. Oh! I'm getting my hair braided because I feel really special and I feel really special about it. My neck is about to rip off though, but like besides that, we're doing so good. Baby. All right, um, I'm stupid and I forgot to film OOTDs when I was actually at the flipping festival, so now I have to do it now. Star Top is from Honeybum. My bralette is from Brandy Melville. My skirt is from Unif. My belt is from Brandy Melville. My glasses are from Francesca's and I was also wearing white Doc Martens that were not shown in this picture. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna do this for every single day and so just get ready for that. So if you wanted to know where this shit was from, I got you, I got you, girl. I love you so much. All right, I love you, bye. I've literally been here for five minutes already at the coffee place. I don't even give a frick. Level 10 sweating right now. Like I've never sweat more in my life. I feel like I'm dying. This was $9. I'm about to be the judge who's worth the $9. It was kind of worth the $9. It's pretty damn good. Day one. Um, wow, what a day. Shall we talk about it? Eh, no, we should. Should we talk about it? We're gonna talk about it. What a long day. I'm literally so tired. It's like, let's see what time it is. It's like 1 a.m. I think. It's 12.44. Literally, there's no connection at the Coachella grounds. I couldn't upload any Instagram pictures. I mean, I sound like such a bitch. And I um couldn't like text my mom and be like, mom, I'm not dead. Like, I couldn't do that. And yeah, I'm really, I'm really tired. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. <laughs> Love you so much. Good night, baby. My pussy and my crap. What's up guys, it's day two, haha. -ha. These earrings really hurt my ears. I'm like really in pain, haha, <laughs> sorry. Do it for the pics. Do it for the pics though. No, literally, I was like, all I care about. Rex Orange County is a special guest today. I'm so excited. We're literally leaving early. Like we're leaving like right now. It's like 1.10. We're gonna leave in like 50 minutes to go see Rex Orange County. I'm gonna cry when I see him. So I'll see you when I see him and you're gonna see hey! me freak out. What? They like Instagram pictures. Hey, baby,
All right, for starters, we have Bandana, which is from the Bandana store. Actually, I don't know where I got that, so I don't know, maybe Amazon or something. Glasses are from Amazon. My top is from Zaffle. It's actually a bathing suit top because we're crazy like that. My shorts are Levi's. My little fucking chain head ass thing is from Brandy Melville. Socks are from Topshop and shoes are Converse. So <laughs> Surprise, we're back for a second one. <laughs> Guys, I just thought I lost my goddamn camera. It was on the ground. I'm an idiot. Okay, sorry, bye. Um, hello. I swear to fucking God, this bitch is on crack. She's on crack. I'm freaking out. Do you know what? I'm gonna turn off the camera because I'm being annoying as fuck right now. Okay, bye. Okay, well, she may be on crack, but at least she's self aware. I don't know. Day three. Let's talk. It's been a minute, okay? I just wanted to fill you guys in because it's kind of been a hot minute. It's so scary to bring out my camera because every time I bring out my camera, I almost lose it. And so I'm just like scared that I'm gonna like lose my camera. Dude, like what? Stop. Okay. Sorry, my body has been in like excruciating pain at all times. My, my upper back, my feet have blisters all over them. My voice hurts. I have dust all up inside my nose. I am a mess. Last night I saw Timothy Chalamet just chilling. I was like, you are so hot. Then I saw James Charles like twice. Didn't say hi to them though because I'm scared. I thought we saw Justin Bieber. It wasn't him. Okay, that was fucked up. Yeah, that um, was. We were freaking out. Yeah. And it was just a fat dude with a bandana. No, for <laughs> I think we saw Olivia O'Brien. You saw her? What? 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 It's actually not as crazy as I thought it was gonna be, but it's just like you're constantly walking around and your body hurts. Yeah. And you're just like, what's going on? And you're dehydrated what? and there's lines for everything. Oh, when the lines. When you try lines. to get into the crowd, you literally can't. And you're like, irritable all the time. I've been irritable this entire- Also, I kept thinking that somebody was gonna somehow like open my backpack while oh, I'm just yeah. standing there and take my camera yeah. out. So I was super paranoid about that. That's enough for me today, bye. I'll see you later. All right, so I didn't really get a good full photo of this outfit, so this is gonna be a little bit of a struggle, but we're gonna do it anyways. All right, my glasses are from Francesca's again. My little top thing, basically naked top, is from Forever 21. My jewelry is from Forever 21, and then this little necklace right here may or may not be something that I designed and will be selling down the line. Maybe it will, but maybe it won't. My skirt is from PacSun, and my shoes are Nike Air Force Ones from Nike, obviously. So there it is, day three outfit, that was it. Literally here again like this is the only place you see us like we're not anywhere else we're getting coffee at all times It's just how it is it's really how it be sometimes I finished it in two minutes bye
At this point, Coachella became living hell, okay? I didn't want to be here anymore, but I still had to be there for another, I don't know, hour and a half. It was not good. I've never been more tired in my life. Ah, yeah. Holy fuck, that was kind of good, I don't know. to Emma's Coachella review. You might be like, Emma, let's just like end the vlog already. No one gives a fuck. <clears throat> well, I thought it would be kind of valuable if I gave you guys a little Coachella review because everybody's always talking about how amazing it is and how perfect it is and how flawless it is and how perfect it is and how it's the best time of the year and how it's so fun and there's no flaws and it's totally worth the thousands of dollars that you invest into it. The funny part about it is it's not even actually investing because you don't ever actually make any money back. It just sucks money from your wallet and then you never actually actually make it back it just goes into nothing because you don't it's just that's the thing about it also look at this weird piece of lint in my hair it makes me really uncomfortable and I like can't get my eyes off of it and like editing right now is really difficult because I keep staring at the stupid piece of lint anyway okay well today I'm here to tell you the truth I think everybody wants Coachella to be as amazing as it looks because like they just want to believe it you know and I wanted to believe it that's for damn sure and was I let down no it was still a really cool experience but it's definitely not what I expected it to be so I thought I would kind to take you through the pros and the cons. So first we're gonna start out with the cons because there's more of them. I think that part of it is because my expectations were so high that like a lot of things stuck out to me as being like kind of shitty. The first con is that uh, your body is gonna be hurting at all times. My feet were hurting from standing on them all day. My back was hurting from like standing up all day and jumping around and shit. My lips were constantly chapped. Like it did not matter how much chapstick I put on, they were just getting dried out, dried out, dried out. My nose was all dry and had like dust encrusted in it because there's like dust flying around because you're in the desert, yeah. I had blisters all over my feet. I don't know why, I was like chafing, like my backpack strings were like chafing my like arms. Like it was bad. I'm also sensitive. That was probably part of it. I'm a pussy. Moving on. It's not all about the music. A lot of people, I know even me, I was like, oh, I'm going for the music, dude. Like, what the fuck? Like, I don't care about anything else. I just want to hear the artists I love, you know? It's not like that, okay? I was like so disappointed because there was a lot of artists I wanted to see that I just couldn't end up seeing because like sometimes two of your favorite artists will like be playing at the same time and you have to like choose. You know, you and your friend might not agree. And so then it's like, eh, I don't want to see them. And it's like, well, I want to see them. And it's like, well, hey, go by yourself. And then you're like, well, I don't want to die. But also a lot of the times you'll show up and you'll be so excited and then there'll be like a technical difficulty for example I went and I saw Rex Orange County he was a special guest I was so excited he's one of my favorite artists like ever and like his microphone kept like f***ing up like it like stopped working completely at one point and he like you couldn't even hear him also like his microphone kept making like weird loud squeaky sounds it was all f***ed up I'm like what the hell if you're going just for the music I would say don't go because it's so much money and you're probably not even gonna see everybody you want and like it's probably not even gonna sound as good as it would if you just like went to their concert like separately. Another con is that it's a fucking mess. It's a big mess. There's creepy men everywhere. People just like grabbing your arm and like kissing your hand and following you around and shit. Like I'm ugly and they still were doing that and that says something. Drunk people everywhere, like people throwing up. It's a mess. Okay, moving on. There's just no reception. So if you want to like text your friend and be like, where are you? You can't. Like if you're lost, you are lost. Next, it's so fun expensive. If it was cheaper, I wouldn't be as harsh, but because it's literally anywhere between like $450 and like $2,000, depending on when you buy your ticket or if you're VIP, etc. I spent like $9 a day on coffee. This is actually a lie. I literally spent $27 a day on coffee because I bought a minimum of three and they're each $9, meaning that I spent a minimum of $27. Oh God. I got an acai bowl one day and that shit was $14. I mean, it would have been 12, but I wanted almond butter on it. So that added $2, I don't care. The only cheap thing at Coachella is the water bottles and they're $2 each, which if you really think about it, it's still kind of a lot, but whatever. Also buying your outfits for it are expensive because that's like the whole point of Coachella is the outfits and like the pictures and tr making it look fun when it's really like not as fun as it actually looks. So that's all the cons. Now let's talk about the pros. Number one, the vibes are good. You're gonna meet a bunch of different types of people. You're probably gonna see some celebs, which is always fun, but like, if you know, don't go to Coachella just to see the celebs because you'll look at them from far away and be like whoa And then that's it and it's like is that really worth it? $700 ticket No. everybody's just trying to have a good time except for the pedophiles. They also actually are trying to have a good time, but like not 
the kind of good time that we like in this community. Um, another pro is that um, it's super fun to post about it on Instagram and make everyone else hate their lives that aren't there. The way that people make it look on Instagram, wow, like it's a lie. Like, I mean, I'm being honest. Like, it looks so fun on Instagram. Like, I remember all the years I was like, oh my god, like that looks so amazing. And it's cool, but like, it is not as fun as it looks on Instagram. The amount of like struggles that we dealt with throughout the whole thing was like absurd. I feel like that's about it. So that's all the pros and cons. Overall, I think I'd rate Coachella a 6 out of 10. It's exhausting. Afterwards, you're like, this is just... Like, I can't even believe I just went through that. Hopefully that sheds some light on what it's truly like and you can, like, make a decision more educatedly now. Everybody else is fucking lying to you guys, being like, Coachella is so fun. It's the perfectest thing. I love it. Who knows if I'll be going next year? I don't know. I don't know if I could do that again. But then again, it's one of those things where it's like, it's kind of worth it though.